Hello and welcome uh, to Channel UTM. <clears throat> this is part three, I think, before I get confused. Um, this is a, a, a tutorial based research channel. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with this stuff, um, this might be, you could get to grips with it. I'm going to explain a little bit. Um, I've been talking about viewing um these photographs um and how difficult it can be um to relate to them um but what i suggest is going to go and have a look at the the other videos um there's a lot of explanation and if you look at the tutorials that they'll give you some information as well but basically the channel's here to help you discover um, these um, other civilizations which inhabit our solar system well our solar system is a um, bit of a understatement really um, our is the looks like we're definitely part of something much much bigger so anyway we're looking at um dione uh which is a oh my god am i right yes it's a saturn saturn moon i do get confused with all this stuff so anyway um carrying on this is another uh we're going to be looking at uh this image uh, which is another image of uh, the the previous two. This is a follow-on. It's the same. It's the same bunch of images. Um, again, very low quality, but um, we're getting some good results from from this. And um, other people are as well. Um, there's only a few people doing this, but um, I think we're getting there right okay so have a have a read of this um you know obviously pause it and stuff like that so i'm going to try and run through this as uh, as quickly as possible um so we can we can have a good look at this map i've got another one as well which i've just did this afternoon which i i was just going to show as a plain and but obviously uh, not obviously, but um, when I did some work on it, it um, revealed some very interesting stuff. So hopefully we can get to that one in this one. So quickly, I just want to run over a, a few things. And this sort of takes us back to uh, Europa and, and Titan especially. And something I mentioned in, the, in part one of this um, series. Um about uh, these fracture lines as they're described uh, looking like they're elevated um, they could be uh, like roadways um, travel systems um, and we were looking at trying to spot sort of like uh, areas where they look like they're supported so i'm going to show you some um, earthbound images to try and try and relate for those of you who are unfamiliar with this sort of thing and then some bits that i've done to these images um and hopefully it will make um some more sense about what we're looking at because it, it, it's very difficult so what i was trying to um explain was supports or something it's a simple it's simple i don't know where this is um but it's pretty cool um, and also when I uh, if you look at the uh, Titan video I was trying to uh, we were looking at these um, and they were very masked as well they were um, almost cut out but I was sort of explaining that it had what looked like spires or towers of some description on this if you go back to that video and have a look you'll see what I mean and this is this just jumped out at me um not saying this is what it is but it's just something we can relate to um this is uh earthbound stuff 
So uh, let's see. There's a another one here. Obviously, these are, these are not even taken from from low orbit. These are you know uh, helicopter or drone photographs. But again, the the uh, the supports in this. Um, shame this hasn't got more shadowing in it because that would. Uh, you would be able to relate that as well. Okay, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Uh, where are we? Here, this is a famous one. The, um, Spaghetti Junction's up in, I think it's East Midlands, near Birmingham, sort of thing. Um, just wanted to show you this. But what I did, um, I had a quick muck around. Um, Bit of blurring, reduce the 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 the, the pixels, etc. Um, etc. Et and sort of did that a couple of three times or something, and I ended up with uh, with this. Now, those of you who are familiar with the with the channel will know what I'm will know what I'm getting at here. So it's the same image. Um, just edited so let's uh, I've got another one here as well which is a uh, this one this is um, Mississippi I think um, yeah this is a low orbit satellite image um, and I have, I have enlarged this slightly, I haven't done anything else to it, it's just so we can, uh, just so we can go and have a, a little look at it. So, and you'll understand what I mean, um, shortly, and if you've seen, um, part one and two. So this, I don't even know what this is. I'm presuming it's a bridge. Um, but it looks like it could be, you know, pipes. Um, so it's, it's quite difficult to work out. I mean, are, are those, what are these? So even from earth-based stuff if you're looking at it on that level which is what we have to deal with with the um with the photographs of the the planets and moons um and i'm not sure what low orbit is but it's probably so probably only two three hundred miles maybe at, at, at the most There are various things and stuff which uh, is interesting to look at. Uh, I'm not going to do any work on this, um, but let's have a look. This this is a, a picture of the, the same Im image, and, I, and I've just had a, a quick muck around with it. Um, pulling a few things around and stuff, just basic... Um, uh, tools or uh, filters. Uh, no, it's in the it's in the colours bar up here. Um, using these, there's there's so much you can do. There's all sort there's all sorts of filters, um, noise filters, etc. etc. So, um, and these took minutes to do. Uh, is there another one? Right, so let's have a look. Uh, this is um, this is quite cool as well. It's very reminiscent of uh, some of the stuff we're looking at. So I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a maglev system or their pipes or you know like a, a monorail type sort of thing. I do not know. Um, but really interesting. This is in Japan somewhere, 
and I had a quick muck around with this one and that is the same image believe it or not yeah so just to it's quite interesting that's quite a, it's a low a low dpi on it but obviously then when you can get into blowing that up and then re back editing it so i hope that makes a little bit of sense in relation to uh what we've been looking at and discussing so this is the next one in the in the series uh, that we've we've looked at um, uh, this is the image in question and um, oh yeah quickly because I do like this one uh, this is the mission logo well, I think I want to get a t-shirt of that one done so anyway right here we are um, again uh, very unusual let's do, just quickly go here there's a you need to read this um, wispy terrain the surface deposits of rose has been suspected a rather pattern of bright icy cliffs among myriad fractures one possibility that the stress pattern is of the evolution effect the tidal stresses of the tidal meaning up I, I presume the surface uh, moving around and things like that um, I think there's more details on the on the next ones. But let's just get into this. So this is the image so far that I've um, been editing, and the stuff we've just looked at um, may bear some relevance, or do it, hopefully for those who are new, because you you have to learn how to how to look at these images, and uh, maybe that will help you uh, relate to it. Now this image, I haven't blown this image up uh, very much at all, um, but they seem to be working all right. And uh, I think I can get them big enough for, uh, and apologies for people who are using uh, phones and stuff. <laughs> it's it's, uh, it's going to be nigh on in, in impossible for, uh, so let's, let's just start up here and we'll have a look around. Um, and again, this is uh, quite an incredible image. And basically, all I all I've done is the my initial um, pass over it with the preliminary preliminary um, darkening contrast uh, dodge elements. So I'll do this a little bit bigger in case you are looking on a on a phone and what I do do as well I show you uh, the, the the process that I use and hopefully that can help tune you into what we're looking at because you can see it happening in real time so this is pretty uh, close up now it's only up 50% magnification so um, and if you're new new to this you're going to be your eyes are going to be looking for familiar stuff or your brain will be it's just the way it works we all it all works like that um so let's let's carry on now these wisps as they call them um fractures uh, in the surface as we were looking at in the other videos look elevated they're not they don't look like part of the surface um, and they're not so you say why well go and have a look at the other vids Because they don't look it, well, they definitely don't look it to me. Um, I 
the more you concentrate on these pictures, the more the more you're going going to see. Okay, so we'll have a little scan around here. Nothing's been done to this apart from the darkening and stuff. I'll do a little bit of this as I go along. And uh, what I was quite amazed with uh, this image, even it's very low. I mean, I normally, the images normally end up around about 2 gigabyte, 3 gigabyte. Um, they do vary quite a lot um, and also it's sort of uh, my computer dictates it as well because it can't handle the massive images which is a shame but we'll get there one day so you can see that forming into what looks like a Uh, structure with its definite design and purpose um, going on here. You can see square areas, you can see where things are attached to each other. It's all over the place in this one. So, okay, let's get back to the uh, right, to the moving around. Hopefully, this 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 will look like uh, look okay on a, on a phone. You know, I have to think about how people are gonna be viewing this and if I stay a long way back I mean you're just not going to see it on a phone and people will pass it by um, so for those of you who are following this um, I know people uh, do view them on large screens which is uh, is the way to go You can sit back and get a decent, decent view of it. So, I do recommend that. And we've also spoken about things that um, are becoming familiar between the various planets and moons. Um, and obviously the pictures themselves. I think after I was talking about something the the design of and that we found how a lot of the design between a lot of the the moons and planets are very very similar. And I spoke about sort of getting the Russians and or getting the Japanese to uh, design something, and it's going to be different. Um, and uh, what we put that down to that the it's possibly different races um, or possibly you know there's a, a sort of a universal um, level of uh, construction which uh, various races are, are using or, or, or the in environment of the, the moon or planet itself denotes how they're going to build this stuff. going to move out a bit so you can get a bit more of a because during the research I mean I 
I zoom in to get detail out and then when you uh, zoom back out the it visually compresses um, so you can see the layout and, and you'll spot things which you um, you won't see when you're close up that's just uh, it's an obvious uh, it's an obvious thing so I talk about travel systems as well um, and they are apparent on every world everywhere the uh, the infrastructure of it is exactly the same as it is here you need to get around obviously Now to a lot of you, like like I've said, you're going to find this very confusing. Um, but if you're willing to stick with it, then uh, it just gets easier every single time you look at it. And it is building a familiarity with, um, with the pictures. Um, And at the end of the day, when you've uncomplicated how we look at and perceive things, um, then it is actually very simple. So the majority of this area hasn't been worked on. Um, my moody copy of uh, Windows there. Right, there was something I just saw. And you don't even necessarily have to see anything. Um, you can just start digging at the picture and see what appears and uh, most of the time you will find something it's hidden right in front of your eyes very simple if you have any questions about um, any of the processes or anything like that then uh, give us a shout. Okay. So to me, I would I would say that we are looking at this. We have a, a side on view to this. background is playing. I like the background. Even though I can't hear it at the moment, but that's my excuse for buying a cheap microphone, which I hope is going to last a little bit longer. I haven't worked out using anything to get better, uh, a bit of a better sound quality, but um, we're keeping it real. So study these images. Give yourself time. Let's just go back a bit. So this is something we'll we'll have a look at. Um, like we've discussed in other stuff, how these things you can't necessarily see this in the uh, the original picture, which we'll quickly have a look at. 
Um, I don't see, you wouldn't necessarily see any of this stuff, but there is a line running through here. You get used to finding these things. So, Another thing as well with these images, the more you work on them, and like I was explaining, um, there's so much going on. Um, this is where you can get confused as well. Let's just go back to something. I wanted to point something out here. So if we look at this area here, you can... Don't totally recommend working on this level for detail. Um, because the brush just won't pick up the whole thing. If I just blow that up a little bit. You can see the element of low quality coming through now. I think it's very adequate. So if we look at this. So I would say this area here is slightly lower than this area, but we have to take that angle into account. So they, they could be very similar levels. And this is what can confuse the pitch when I start filling in the gaps. But I want, like I've said, I want to get as much out of them as I possibly can. You know, and hope you guys will take the time to um, view the images um, and work it out. So if this is the top, you can see this comes down. Um, and we'll look at that shadow and there are parts of these structures heading towards the ground. This is the top. This is something sticking out of it. And the same with here. That is another familiar thing that we've been looking at. They're like platforms with uh, domes or spires and stuff on. There's one here. That's the top area. It's like a cross type shape. And these are the sides. And there's a, If I find a good one, um, you can see the shadows of the, the actual towers. If you if if you watch any other channels and stuff, you'll 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 they'll be saying the same stuff. Oh, see, that's that's pretty cool. And when these areas get too uh, blurred and filled in uh, and light, then I'll go in with the more tools um, to try and pull out. Because uh, all I'm working with at the moment is highlights, no mid tones or anything like that. So we can see this is like the top area, and this is the side. Once you can work a small area out, the 
three dimensional element you can apply it to everywhere else and the perspective will change um, on different areas of the, the surface obviously due to the curvature so Very bizarre stuff going on here. That's why I've titled it Bizarre or Fantastic or Unfamiliar Structures. But when you're when you're starting this, you need to be able to relate to something. It's obvious. So you can see this area traveling, going through. You can see it more because I've worked on it more. all of this it's all the same now this area I was working on before I started the video um, so at this level, it's a bit of a mishmash. If you're, if you know, if you're uh, new to this, um, No drawing involved. Um, I'm not going to go into the tall explanation on, on this. I have to do a tutorial. Um, but concentrate on the, the familiar shapes and stuff. I was talking about, um, I showed you the pictures of uh, the bridges and stuff. That's what I've been trying to uh, locate. Anything similar to that. I mean, these may well be sitting on uh, other structures quite lightly. This stuff is uh, is uh, massive. Oh yeah, and I did speak about um, 
some scaling to try and get an idea of how, uh, how big this stuff is. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's just have to see if we can find any anything here. So I hope you understand where I'm coming from in relation to that. So this stuff is intensely complex, um, multi-leveled. And on a scale that um, you know it's hard to comprehend. And it's packed in there. So much going on. This hasn't been completed, but if we, uh, what's I going to show? Oh yeah, there, I was discussing these. Uh, what they call them uh, ice cliffs or walls, or some description. And I said, um, I think it was on the. Uh, second no, the first first video how with the tools you can work on them and they don't look at they don't look flat anymore um, I'll just point this out let me have a look okay so we're we're here so we're here okay this is pixelating already, done very. But this is one of these ice walls in in question. And this is what I found on it after doing the work on it. How this is done is all explained in uh, the other vid videos and uh, tutorials. But these are like smaller, very... Small little things, but they're not small. shadow running off there. Oops.
see more detail appearing on this wall as well. This is the wall going round. The same here. But they look like um, the sides of something. Um, as if they're raised from the surface, not like our uh, create, uh, a crater is, um, crater goes in to the ground. There's so much to look at on this. Uh, there's so much um, work to do on it. Um, as I've said, we'll be here for hours. But it's more, it's more insight. Um, okay, so quickly, uh, did mention. Um, Some scales. So we've got six, nine, eight miles across. So if you can imagine this coming around like this, what would you say this is? Shall we say half? We have to take the curvature into consideration as well. So you could say what's three, two hundred miles, three hundred miles. I don't know. It is big. So it gives you an idea. I can't be right. Tell me what you think. Or someone have a look into it. Crazy stuff going on here. Like this here. Remember, these images are all available for you to work on. If you need any help, just ask. I say, there's, uh, there's no tricks. This is all available to you and there is someone who I'm in touch with who's one of the subs and uh, they have done exactly what I've suggested uh, suggested and uh, they are getting results And I think we'll do discuss that um, the more this uh, the more this happens, and, and maybe start getting into uh, how people have reacted to it and stuff. But we'll leave we'll leave it we'll leave it at that in a moment. So I hope this has uh, freaked you out because uh, it does me every time I. I look at this stuff um, it's so obvious this is so obvious um, so Dio Saturn moon incredible um, hey and there you go um, I'll see you in the part four I think yeah it's gonna be part four because there's something I want to want to show you and uh, it's gonna take time so that's just the way it is and uh, Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much and uh, I'll see you very soon.